but people said we couldn't make it. We're almost there. <laughs> Is he okay? He probably has hypoxia. And what's that? Basically a medical condition where the body or an organ doesn't receive enough oxygen. And what about you, lungs? You don't look so good. Does it look like we're receiving enough oxygen? Does it hurt? Hey, I was just asking. No need to be rude. Leave him alone, heart. They're already working with what little air they have. I still don't understand what's going on. Well, our human saw one of those trendy challenges in social media. What challenge? Who can climb Mount Everest without oxygen? What is up with society, honestly? Yep, this is almost as bad as planking or dabbing. Ah, we need to figure out what to do. Doctor! Oh boy, this is chillier than the chilies. Okay, I can do better. Doctor, we need oxygen. What, you think I'm your deus ex machina? My what? Your Swiss army knife to solve every problem? I am making a show. Shows need sticks. You guys got yourselves in this situation, now you gotta figure out a way out. What? C can you at least make it so that the brain can function properly? That wouldn't be accurate, Art. When the brain gets hypoxia, some of the symptoms include dizziness, headaches, difficulty concentrating, and just plain confusion. Okay, we can survive that. It can also lead to loss of consciousness, organ failure, and, you know, death. Uh, anything else we should be concerned about? Hmm, there was something else. Oh, right. Hyperventilation, respiratory alkalosis. You may even have a pulmonary and cerebral edema. Oh, no. What? You know what that is? Yep. Basically a condition that can happen when a person goes to a very high altitude without giving their body time to get used to the lower oxygen levels. Okay, do we have time to prepare for these high altitudes? Well, considering we spent the last two weeks marathoning all seasons at Dr. House, I doubt it. Such a good show. It is. <clears throat> right, so what happens if we get high altitude pulmonary edemas? Well, in short, our lungs accumulate fluids and we have trouble breathing. Doctor? Can you make a diagnosis? Always happy to. Okay, let's make this layer invisible and... Yep, it's like a pool party in here. Okay, let's not panic just yet. So that's a high altitude pulmonary edema. What about a cerebral one? Brain also accumulates liquid, but this results in swelling and increased pressure inside the skull. Two for two, guys. Anything else, liver? Uh, nope. You forgot to mention that these types of edemas can lead to death if left untreated. Come on, I'm trying not to cause a panic. It's okay, I need to know what we're facing, Liver. What, you're gonna save us, Heart? Because you're also struggling from hypoxia and working way harder than usual. Someone must. Doctor, there must be something you can do. I mean, maybe if your human gives up on the challenge, I could give you a hand. Ha, <laughs> get it? Okay, it's a deal. Wait, what, that's your plan? The brain is not thinking straight. How are we gonna? It's okay, I'll come up with something. See you soon. I don't know what your plan is, Hart, but I hope it works. Me too. Ahem. Hey, Brain! Who's that? Are you my consciousness? Uh, yeah! What's up, my dude? Hey, I'm doing this awesome challenges on TikTok. Yeah, uh, I'm aware. But, uh, you know we can die, right? Fiolo, bro. You only live once. Exactly. If we die, like, we die for good. Whoa, that's like the same meaning, but in real Bro. Brain, we need to go back. Never. I'm finishing this challenge to become internet famous. This is not working hard. Mm, okay, let's get to the top then. What? Right on, my dude. You're finally one of the cool ones. But before that, let's get some rest. The final stretch will be the toughest one. Come on, you know you want to rest your legs and drink some water. Ugh, fine. I guess I wouldn't mind a short. Okay, now we're not going anywhere. What does this accomplish? By taking a rest, we'll spend less oxygen in moving the body and use more on the vital organs. Also, hopefully the brain will catch a breath and gain some clarity. You know what? I think I underestimated you, little guy. Everyone does. Ooh, wait, do we really climb Mount Everest? Brain, you're back! I'm so confused. Let me quickly see where we're, oh my goodness. What, what? I just checked my phone and we are at 8,000 meters above sea level. That is the highest altitude anyone has ever climbed without oxygen. How high is Mount Everest then? 8,800 meters more or less. We are so close to the summit. Brain, that is enough. It's a miracle we're even alive right now. You need to give up on the challenge. But that can't be the message of the story. Giving up, is that what we're going for? Yes. Giving up on silly ideas without knowing what we're getting ourselves into. That sounds like a great message to me. Just look around you. Climbing Mount Everest is one of the most extreme things any human can do. Even people that prepare all their lives can die during the climb. Maybe it sounds corny, but I I should listen to my heart. I, 
must give up on this challenge. You heard that, Doctor! Loud and clear, Art. Ah, I've never been happier in my life. You and me both, brother. Hey, Hart, that was a uh, pretty cool of you. Thank you, Liver. You're not out of the clear yet, guys. You are still extremely ill. You need medical help ASAP, so it's not gonna be a fun way down. Can you do us one more favor? I already told you, I can't solve all your... It's something else. Just hear me out. <laughs> Wait, are we planking and dabbing? I'm bringing them back, baby. Come on. Come on. Come on. 